Hey everybody, this is Dave, and with us we have Michelle Alexandria, our producer and distributor extraordinaire. Uh, so Michelle is going to be answering some basic distribution questions for us today. Uh, so why don't we uh, jump right into it? Does that sound good? Yeah, hi Dave, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about just your distribution history? as a distributor yeah you know I, I started about 15 years ago um i started out uh you know as a filmmaker you know i was dabbling into you know acting um then i i gradually went into filmmaking and uh while i was doing that i had a corporate job i was working in the world of finance and banking and so i have a really solid background there and you know i started to apply that on the filmmaking side and with that, I, I was gradually going into distribution without really intending to, to where it ended up becoming my full-time job, which I fell in love with. So then what we'll, we, we'll be doing is we will be looking to get um, streaming distribution. We'll be looking for some great distribution. Uh, I mean, we do have an LOI for distribution, but we are looking for all opportunities. Um, we want to hit the strongest and the best that we possibly can. Um, so that's basically what we would be doing at this point is looking for the distribution uh, opportunities, building buzz while we're making the movie uh, and kind of networking and opening up dialogues and conversations uh, for when the film is done, we'd be able to show it to potential distributors. Is that correct? Yeah, and you know, and that's the part that I can't wait to be involved in is is once you know once Nikki Newark starts filming, uh, you know, I have relationships with so many sales agencies and distributors just over my years being in it that I, you know there's already companies that already know of Nikki Newark, you know, just because oh that's the next film Michelle's going to be making, and so you know once we we cast the main roles that's going to be my next launching point of communicating with these different companies that you know i really i really value now how the film um starts to play out as principal photography is happening is going to dictate a little bit more of what direction i'm going to go in so i may have been considering you know you know companies a b and c but then once it, the film is cast and, and we're seeing how the footage looks it might actually be better for these other companies just because I know that these companies work better with certain territories and certain buyers for that type of film. So that's why it's, you can never have a definite plan until you have the final product, but you don't, in my opinion, you don't want to wait until you have the final product to start pursuing that plan because that I feel would be a bit irresponsible. And with all the knowledge, background, relationships, and history that just I alone have, not even counting the whole team, you know, that's not something that we would wait on. That that's a, This is something like even in script stage, as you said, you've got the LOI, the letter of intent. That's important. That means that it's already now on the radar of a, a, a few companies. 